Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Today I'm going to show you how I turn some scrap fabric into a couple of tea towels. It's a really, really quick, simple beginner's project. So you don't have to know how to do anything except, I guess, just thread your machine. You'll get some experience in straight stitching and we'll do a mitered corner, just one way of doing a mitered corner, and a square corner. So the square corners are obviously the easiest way to do your corners. Um, and the mitered corners, there's lots and lots of different ways of doing them. So this is just one way. It's probably the, it's probably a cheats way of doing them. Okay, so mitered corner as opposed to a square corner. And we will show, I'll show you how to do both. Stick around. Now the size, the size of your tea towel isn't really going to matter. As you can see, I've got two tea towels here. This purple one here and a grey one. And the grey one's quite a bit smaller than, than the purple one. Now the grey one is actually the size that I usually use anyway. Um, so you can pretty much use what you've got in your stash. If you need to go out and buy some fabric, then I recommend probably about 20 inches by 28 inches, which is a good size for a tea towel. It's a little bit in between these two sizes. Um, so I've got a piece of vintage fabric that I picked up. A lady dropped in a whole heap of fabric from a long, long time ago. So I'm actually just going to use this. Um, it's just an off cut of fabric. And I'm going to try and get two tea towels out of this so that I can show you how to do the square corners and the mitered corners. This piece, I think the fabric has a flaw in it as well, in that um, the red has bled into the white. But it's a tea towel, it really doesn't matter. It's clean, serviceable, and that it has a little bit of colour run isn't an issue at all. So we'll cut this up into... Um, two pieces that are going to be 20 inches by 28 inches. Now, as in previous videos, I'm using inches because it's easier for me to see, um, easier for me to mark on with my rotary cutter and ruler as well. So 20 inches by 28 inches. Okay, I've cut up all the pieces of fabric. I've managed to get two pieces um, to make two tea towels um, and I've cut them at 20 by 28 inches. The rest of the fabric I've cut up as well because I might as well use it. It's not good for anything else really. Um, so I've just made a little dishcloth and cut up a fabric to make a little bit of a longer one. So you can still use it as a tea towel if you want to. Um, these will be handy in the laundry, kitchen, bathroom even, um, possibly even my sewing room. Anyway, Stick around and I'll show you how to do the tea towels with the two different corner styles. Now the first thing we want to determine before we've even cut this is how big we want our seam allowance to be. Now with the 20 by 28 inches I've already allowed the seam allowance and for these tea towels I'm going to have a 3 8 inch seam or a fold over and I'll do that twice. So this is a really handy measuring gauge. Um, it's got a slider on here, so you'll just slide that up and down to where you want your seam to be. So a centimetre or three-eighths of an inch. And I've just put my slide over to the three-eighths of an inch mark there. So all we need to do now is fold the fabric over and measure it at three-eighths of an inch. And you can see that the red slider sits on the edge of my fabric and that gives, and when it gets to the end here, that's my three eighths of an inch. So whether you use pins or clips, that's up to yourself. I'm using clips because they're easier. And just measure three eighths of an inch all the way down. So you can see the fold there and that is three eighths of an inch and then what we'll do is we'll fold it over again so all the way around we have our three eighths of an inch
when you come to the end now you can finger press this as well it'll help keep the seam down when you come to the end just turn your work around finger press this down and keep on going so we've got a square corner here now we're going to do the same technique at the moment for the mitered corner and for the square corner Okay, we've come to the end and we'll just meet that there and what we've done here is single fold all the way around what we want to do is make sure that there's no raw edges showing or peeking through when we're using this because these tea towels are going to be used a fair bit we want to double roll so what we'll do here is fold this over again by the same amount so we want that 3 8 of an inch just on the edge there and we'll go and do this all the way around on all four sides again now a quick way of doing this we've already got this finger pressed and you can see that you've got the edge of the fabric here you can just fold it over onto itself and you can you can feel when it's sitting nice and flat so you don't have to go and measure the whole thing and just go and put your clips down or your pins and that'll sit nice and flat if you prefer take your measure and just clip or pin it in place so I'll go and do that all the way around Now when we get to the end we've got the double fold over this side so we want to make sure that this sits nicely on the very corner so just make sure that you can't see the fold from the other side it's not going to be the end of the world if you see it and there we go so this is folded over twice all the way around and it's almost ready to sew as is now that we've got everything folded over nicely we want to allow um, the ability to hang our tea towels so I've just got a piece of scrap cotton tape you can use the keepers from inside of your clothes if you've got those if you keep some ribbon things like that doesn't really matter what you use I've cut this out at four inches and what I'm going to do is insert this at the underneath the double fold before I do that, I'm just going to fold this in half and just cut a 45 degree angle along here. So all that is is just a little bit of a triangle and that's so that it fits underneath the fabric. So there you go. So what we'll do now is just position this on the tea towel like that and we're actually going to tuck that in underneath doesn't matter that you don't have a perfect 45 degree angle it'll never be seen so pin or clip that in place and do the same for the other side so just tuck that in underneath the double fold and we're now ready to take this to the machine and sew it so this here is where you can hang your tea towel or your dishcloth if um, if you like to hang them I actually fold mine over and just hang them over the rail on my oven but yeah it's there if you want to hang it on something so let's take this to the sewing machine and stitch all the way around okay so I'm ready to sew this up I'll just remove my clip here and we'll start at one corner and just place it underneath the machine now I don't want to sew on this edge here I want to sew close to this folded edge here because that's what's going to keep all the raw edges inside 
and it will also keep the cotton tape um, sewn in nicely. So all we want to do is start sewing, back stitch, and then just keep on going. Sometimes you might have to help the fabric go forward to go over the bulk. Now I'm just using the inside edge of my foot as my guide. So, um, and it's going to sew probably about three mil in or about a quarter, of, not a quarter, an eighth of an inch in from the edge. Remove your pins or clips as you go. If you keep your pins in, you may end up damaging your machine. When you get to the corner that's got your cotton tape, just make sure that your tape is underneath there and that that gets caught as you sew along. And if you like, you can backstitch over that just to secure it down a little bit better. And all the way to the end. Now when we got get to the end, we want to stay there and keep the needle down. So stop with your needle in the down position, lift your presser foot, turn your work around and then put your foot back down again. And you can see I've actually gone too far here. That's fine, I'll just backstitch. I wasn't watching what I was doing. So turn the work around. Make sure that my cotton tape is underneath here properly and starts keep on sewing. And when you get to the end, just do a back stitch. And that is all there is to it. So just trim the fabric. Oh, I've lost, run out of bobbin. How's that? One inch to go, less than an inch to go, and I've run out of bobbin. Let's try that again. I'll just finish that last bit that didn't get caught. And that's it. So that is the um, table, uh, tea towel or tablecloth with just square, square corners. Now I'll show you how to do the one with the mitered corner. So let's just open out our double fold. There's our double fold there and there. Open this out once. So we've got that opened out one with one fold. Grab your corner and just bring that up so that you've got a nice even triangle on both sides. All we want to do here is just trim off the excess at the top. Just that little bit there. And that's just to reduce some of the bulk on the corner. This is how it will look when you've got it opened out. Fold that back over. And then fold your second fold back over again. And same for the other side. And what you want is to be able to match these corners. So you'll need to manipulate this. So we want to manipulate the corners so that they sit nice and flush beside each other. Just like that. And then we can go with the machine, stitch all the way down and keep on going all the way around the edge. And then you've got your nice folded corners, or mitered corners I should say. 
So I'll do that for the rest of it and then we'll take it to the machine and sew it. So I'm just about to come up to the corner of this mitered tea towel. And I'm doing the same seam guide as I did earlier. So what I want to do now is just make sure that these corners sit nicely together. Just go slowly. Turn your work around. And keep on going until you've done all four sides or corners. So there we go, we've got our mitered corner. Looks fine on the same on the other side. So you've just got your square edge on the other side, your mitered corner on this side, and if we get the other one that's got our square edges, looks the same on the other side. And then we've just got our double folded square edge. So that's the difference between a mitered corner and a square edge corner on your tea towels, bar mats, napkins, whatever you like. So it's really just two different ways that you can finish your folded edges. Rightio, our tea towels are all finished. We have got our mitered edges, which look exactly the same on the outside as do our square edges. So we've just made a little bar runner, I guess, a couple of tea towels and just a little napkin, all with scrap fabric that was rescued or salvaged from a lady's stash that she was throwing out and the little hanger on the corner of the tea towel. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you'd like me to make or show you how to do, let me know. Put it in the comments down there. Hit subscribe and you'll be kept up to date with any of my future videos. See you next time.